Good morning, Major Archer. The following news highlights have been custom filtered for your special interest. They're the courtesy of Hypercast Network. For further information on any topic, a complete report is available at minor charge. Be sure to supply your regimental ID for further discounts. Reports from the front lines are grim. The Department of Mandated Colonization confirms 12 additional frontier planets have been infested by Xenome species. In spite of the arrival of massive numbers of gunmen troops, panic continues to spread among the colonists and haphazard civilian evacuations have begun to mount in direct defiance of colonial mandate. While critics warn that the outbreak of Xenome hostilities across so many fronts has stretched the fighting force to its breaking point, gunmen leaders deny these speculations. Still, despite sustained fighting over several weeks, even high echelon leaders cannot deny that losses are high. And for the first time in its history, the human species is faced with the possibility of colonized worlds being abandoned to a belligerent and predatory alien race. Watchers report several recent arrivals of gunman neural specimens to the medical intelligence facility. While complete mapping of salvaged tissue remains difficult, there are rumored to be powerful memories of a massive alien queen correlated between neural samples rescued from several different worlds. Experts discount such claims as fearful conjecture, pointing out that it is difficult to separate fact and fantasy when charting mnemonic traces. They use the same point to dispel the far wilder claims of bloodthirsty creatures made entirely of shadow, which have recently caused much upset among colonial conscripts. Last evening, Dr. Varkas Calhorian, civilian scientist and founder of the Citizens of Full Disclosure, called a press conference to state his belief that the xenomes have been genetically modified and deliberately placed on inhabited planets by an unknown faction. I demand an investigation by a neutral party of all records related to the infestation, including a complete review of documents I believe unlawfully suppressed by the Department of Colonization. Administrators who could have contained this threat when it was negligible chose to sacrifice colonial lives rather than endanger their profits. DMC officials declined to respond to Dr. Calhorian, except to once again invoke the classification of all such documents as top secret under the Predatory Species Act. Lawyers for both sides continue to prepare for what will undoubtedly be a protracted battle. Today in technology, all gunman troops are being armed with a new line of configurable weapons first pioneered by frontier inventors. Soldiers who volunteered to use prototype models in frontline situations give them high marks for their ability to adapt to the changing face of xenome warfare. Weapon facts are working overtime to supply troops with the latest models and plan to continue shipping upgrades and modifications as they become available. Major Archer, your regiment starts training with these weapons today. Next week marks the five-year anniversary of the Battle of Banzer Prime, where the first Xenomes took the lives of two platoons of gunmen and their selfless general. His brave actions allowed a few of the gunmen to escape and spread the first official warnings of the Xenome Plague. Memorial fires are being prepared around the Western Spiral Arm. A veterans organization near the frontier plans on detonating the blue giant Gamma Valkyrie in the general's honor. He always said he wanted to go out with a bang. We think a supernova's only fitting. You were with the general on Banzer Prime, weren't you, Major Archer? If you wish to book passage to the Valkyrie system, Hypercast would be happy to make all arrangements. You have 10 days of discretionary leave at your disposal. Shall I make tentative reservations? Major Archer? Major Archer? Major Archer? <laughs>